earlier. One of the things that I did that worked out really well with this organization I work with is I instituted a, a monthly coaches meeting where I had, uh, you know, I still have ties with the university where I coach. So I'd bring them to campus in the conference room. They like being on a college campus and that, and we'd meet every month and it was, it was pretty good. Uh, we small organization. So with head coaches and assistants, there's probably around 25 um, coaches total. And we got anywhere from 17 to 20 pretty much on a regular basis attending. And what you, what I found was because they're all over the place, like there's, there are police officers, there are people in the tech industry, the service industry, right? Plumbers, electricians, um, educators, all that. But once we got them in that room and they all began talking, because the whole idea was I'd have, I'd have um, some sort of a topic that we would talk about, but I would always make sure that sort of bled into them just kind of talking about how their season's going, um, practices, issues that they have, and getting them on board with understanding and hopefully them understanding like the, really sort of the house point about a, a team, a group, them realizing they are a team because we always, always talked about that. And th that hopefully then now trickles through. And in some it did, and some it did, and some they were just there and you know, the, uh, you know, it wasn't like there was a room full of experts. There were uh, a few experts in there, um, in their minds anyway, for sure. And um, it was great to have the conversation. So I think that, again, I always harp on that, I think. And that's kind of my big thing is if you're not prepared to be a leader and understand what that is, uh, how are you going to pass that on to the kids? And I even see that too at the NCAA level because there are a lot of younger guys who are excited and they get that opportunity. And I've spent a fair amount of time talking to their assistants, asking them, so what kind of things does uh, this coach do to help you, uh, even in the off season, because there are seminars and things like that you can go to, what kind of things do you guys do to get educated so you're on the same page to understand leadership? And it's surprising how little of that goes on. And I'm not talking like a division one level because I think there's a different type of commitment there. I mean, division two, II, division three, I'm surprised at how little uh, education the head coaches are passing on to their assistants. And maybe that's because again, we've got that, not to pick on an age group, but we've got that um, 30s to 40s who maybe themselves haven't had a lot of that kind of training. So sure. I, well, so I, just before Sean chips in, um, you know, that book I shared with you guys, um, Jeff Chanson's uh, Team Captain's the Leadership Manual. And I started using that 15 years ago, maybe, exactly for the reason what Peter's talking about, is if I, if I appoint or the kids elect captains, I mean, who in, who in the world would put somebody in a, position of leadership with no training, no mentoring, no conversation. Well, I see it in, in business, in my day job, I see this every day and it's, it doesn't, it's very ineffective when people get put in leadership positions with no clue on really what their job is. And, um, and so at the, at the high school level, we had a monthly meeting with, with not only the captains, but the captains were allowed to, or were asked to uh, invite other players into that group that they thought would be uh, good leaders and, and good supporters of, of what we're trying to accomplish. And I'm now working with younger players and uh, have not had captains the last year. Uh, last time we did it with Bantams, all hell broke out. I asked all the players, um, in your experience, who becomes the captains on the team? And the, the kids go, well, oh, that's simple. And so who says, well, the coach's kid is always the captain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, well, my kid's 30 years old, so I don't think he's gonna be the captain. And, uh, <laughs> and so we, we, had, we really had some terrific conversations. So I don't know there's a magic bullet in any of this other than getting 
getting your players together and, and the parents together and having some really meaningful conversations about all this stuff. Um, you know, they're not all going to agree. At some point, as the, as the leader, you have to make decisions. Um, but at least everybody's had their, their say. They've had, they, you know, they have the right to 